Yo, what's good guys? Tiger here. Welcome to the channel. Today I've got a video that I think you'll all really love. We are in the latter stage of Black Ops 4 now. We're past halfway and we kind of get into that stage where we are almost just starting to prepare for the next Call of Duty title. Some of you might think it's a bit too early, but I know there are going to be some of you out there who are excited for Modern Warfare and are just looking for things to do in Black Ops 4 to pass the time. Now I know what a lot of people seem to do in the second half of a COD title is to focus on their KD, to improve their KD. A lot of us now have done Dark Matter, done the challenges that we set out to do, and now we are just trying to improve, get better and better, pad those stats, make sure our stats look as good as possible before we move on to the next game. Now I genuinely believe that I have an algorithm to improve your KD drastically. I am not BSing. I genuinely believe if everyone was to do this, then lobbies would just be toxic and horrible. So, so if you are watching this, I recommend you try it out and get the upper hand on your opposition. So firstly, the best game mode for improving your KD, in my opinion, is Kill Confirmed. It's good for all players and that is what I really like about this algorithm and concept for improving your KD. It is good for absolutely everyone. It doesn't matter if you're trash, below average, average, above average or dashy level. It doesn't matter how good you are at this game. This strategy is really going to help you. So first off, you want to play Kill Confirmed. What's really good about Kill Confirmed is not only do you get substantial score from getting kills, but you can get so much score from playing the objective and by picking up the opponent's tags as well as your teammates tags. It's so crazy how much score you can just pick up, just picking up tags and not even getting a single kill. Now, if you pair Kill Confirmed with Comsec Device, what I absolutely love, not enough people are using Comsec Device because score streaks in this game can do so much. If we just look at the ones like Strike Team, Attack Helicopter, Thresher is now good, Drone Squad has always been good, and then you've got the two main ones, the Strike Team and the Gunship, you can get so much done with all of these score streaks, these high-end score streaks. And if you're playing Kill Confirmed with the Comsec device, it's just a recipe for disaster. It does not matter what your play style is, whether you play super aggressive, whether you play super passive, you can achieve these high-end score streaks very, very fast, faster than any other game mode. If you're below average and struggle getting those high-end score streaks, then I suggest you take your first score streak, what is UAV. I really like UAV. I either go for UAV or Lightning Strike as my first score streak, and then I always go for Sniper's Nest and Strike Team. I think Strike Team is more consistent than Gunship because if you're on a map where it's predominantly indoors, your Strike Team is not going to get much done. So I love the Strike Team. Plus, I like to run around and get kills while my score streaks are getting kills. And Sniper's Nest, I think, is the best value for money, or should I say value for score, in terms of how easy it is to get and how many kills it can get you. So if you take UAV, Lightning Strike, one of them two first, and then go for Sniper's Nest and Strike Team. I genuinely believe if you're a below average player, your EKIA is about a 1.3 or less, I genuinely believe in you that you can get these Strike Teams and Sniper's Nests a lot more frequently than you are getting right now. And this is what is going to really help you bump up your KD. It's very, very hard for most of us to finish games with a 4KD or higher just using our guns. If you have these score streaks, they're just going to really help you push past that limit and do really, really well. And when I say it's good for all players, I believe that for the above average players as well. I'm going to show you on screen now some of the stats. In my last five games were the games where I was playing Kill Confirmed with Comsec Device. And these were just the games from the gameplay you're watching now. These are just five games I played back to back just for this video. I've been doing this combination before for a little bit, but these were the games that I used to make this video. And you can see the difference. Obviously, there are still ups and downs. It depends on the game, but I'm just finding it a lot easier playing Kill Confirmed with the Comsec device. I honestly believe it's a recipe for disaster. Now, specialists. What specialists do I recommend? Now, at the moment, I am loving Outrider. I think Outrider is awesome. Such a deadly weapon with the Sparrow. 
And the Hawk drone can be just really good if you point it at a certain spawn, you know when the spawns flip. Or if you're in a bit of a tight situation, you want to make sure you are pre-aiming and pre-firing at someone if they are looking over you. The Hawk drone is perfect. But sometimes I like to swap it up with a frag grenade. But other specialists that I recommend that are really good for getting the score. Crash is obviously the easy one. The ammo supply gives you lots of score when people pick it up. Same when you use the TAC-5 boost. Crash is definitely the easiest one to use. But unfortunately, a lot of the newbie specialists are the best for building up your KD. So I'm talking about Ajax, the Ballistic Shield is really consistent, and the Nine Band can help you in a lot of situations. I think Nomad is really good for improving your KD. I don't recommend playing him because he's just so annoying. But what's great about Nomad, he's just a passive specialist. You just put the mesh mines down, you send the dog out whenever, and they're just going to passively get kills and build up your score. Zero can also be a good one and help you shut down any threats on the enemy team if they're trying to bring out score streaks. There are loads of good specialists, but those are four that I'm going to mention that I think are the best. But in my opinion, I prefer to use Outrider or Crash. And another thing that's really good for just getting consistent score streaks over and over again is if you use the first three score streaks in your first life. I would then make sure you use them before you get to your second round of streaks. And if you die, that is fine, because if you've got the sniper's nest out, the UAV, or the strike team, they're going to build up a small amount of score in your next life. If a sniper's nest gets a kill, or a strike team gets a kill, I think you get about 10 points per kill added towards your score. I think it's very similar with the UAV. So even if you die, let's say you go on a 10 kill streak, you max out your three score streaks, you are then statistically more likely to get streaks in your next life because you have got that advantage of your current score streaks building up your score to allow you to get your next set of streaks. Also, I recommend using your specialist ability when you are close to getting a streak. So don't use your specialist ability straight away once you've spawned up. Wait till you've got a little bit of score till you're close to a streak and then when you pull out your specialist ability, if it's the TAC-5 boost, it's gonna help. If it's the Sparrow, then it should be more likely you're going to get kills with the Sparrow than with your regular weapon. That's going to give you a better chance of getting those streaks that you need. Now, as for playstyle, I genuinely believe you don't need to change your playstyle in order for this to work. If you're not currently playing Kill Confirmed with the Comsec device, and you just bring over your normal playstyle into this game mode, then you're going to do a lot better. But if you do want to play more passive, stay with your teammates, try and play your life while playing the objective, making sure you're getting as many tags as possible, this is going to really help you get those streaks more often. Another thing that you may want to do is if you're having a game where it's going really, really well, your team is completely outslaying the other team, and let's say you've got 30 tags and the enemy team have only got four, then you might want to consider stop picking up tags. Maybe your score streaks are out and you're just dominating the other team. Stop picking up the tags just for a moment to drag the game out, so then that's going to allow you to get even more kills. Because for some of you who are maybe inconsistent players, you have good games and then you have really bad games, you're not very consistent with your score and how good you perform in a game. If you're having one of those really good games, then it only makes sense to try and drag that out so then your score streaks can get more and more kills. So then you're making the most out of the situation. As for if you're having a bad game while you're doing the kill confirmed and comsec device, then I'd recommend playing the objective as much as possible because you're going to want to get as much score as you can so then you can get your score streaks to try and turn the game around into your favor. So just to summarize guys, kill confirmed, plus Comsec device, plus one of the four specialists I mentioned, as well as some minor playstyle changes, and you're going to have a better KD, I promise you. Please try this out and let me know in the comments section how you get on. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay updated on all my latest content. But that's all from me. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.